Dear students, welcome to Divya's Max Solutions. Today we are going to discuss chapter 10 circles. First one, fill in the blanks. The center of the circle lies in dash of the circle. So here one circle is there. Center means it will come inside, right? So inside part of the circle is called what? Interior. So center of the circle lies in where of the circle? Interior of the circle. The part is inside circle is called interior and then outside part is called the exterior, right? So center of the circle is coming inside of the circle that is called the interior, right? So center of the circle is lies in interior of the circle we can write. A point whose distance from the center of the circle is greater than its radius lies in dash of the circle. So uh, uh, this one, a point whose distance from the center of the circle. So one point is there whose distance from the center of the circle is greater than is so from here center to this circle what is this one this is the radius suppose this one is the distance from the center to the that point is greater than radius that means it will go outside then it will become greater than radius right so lies in dash of the circle so where the uh, that point will lies it should be lies outside the circle outside means what it is called exterior so it is lies in the exterior of the circle Next, the longest code of the circle is a dash of the circle. Code means anywhere we can draw, right? So, from the circle, any two endpoints are we are joining means we will get the codes. We can, whatever codes we need, we can draw also. But which one is the longest code? Longest code will be passed through this sender to any point like this or like this we can draw. So, the longest code means which one or like this also we can draw. So, longest code is which one? Longest code of the circle is the diameter of the circle. Diameter of the circle. Next, an arc is a dash when it ends at the ends of the diameter. So, what it is called? The uh, One more time, the arc is, the when we can call the arc. Arc means this is the arc, right? Any point we can take in the circle. See, uh, take this point. PQ. So this PQ, this is an arc, right? So like that, here the question is, if the arc is, when its ends are the ends of the diameter. So ends are the ends of the diameter means here, let me take this one as a diameter I am taking. So this is a diameter of the circle, right? So the ends of the chords. So from this, from here to here, this is the arc, right? So if the ends are the diameter of the circle means, what it is called? So, the arc is which one? The arc is a semicircle, right? So, this is the shape of which one? Semicircle. That is the question. Arc is a dash when its ends are at the ends of the diameter. Correct. The ends are at where? On the diameter. So, it is called a semicircle. Next, the segment of a circle is the region between arc and dash of the circle. So, the segment means what? Segment means the portions is coming inside, right? So, this uh, example itself we can take. The segment of a circle, the inside portion, is the region between the arc and which one? Arc and this is, this is diameter. Diameter is called as what is the circle? Chord, right? So, the segment of the circle is the region between arc and chord we can write. Arc and chord. A circle divides the plane on which it lies in dash parts. So, a circle divides the plane on which lies in into how many parts? Circle divides the plane into three parts. How many parts? Circle is dividing. Circle is dividing into three parts. Second one is write true or false and give a given reason for your answer also. First one, line segment joining the center to any point on the circle is a radius of the circle. Okay, we can take one circle. So, here the center is which one? I mark it as O. So, the line segment joining the center to any point on the circle. This is the center to any point we can take. So, this one, any point. So, this one OP or OQ, any point we can take. So, this OP and OQ are what? Both are the radius of the circle, right? So, the first statement is true only. True we can write the first one. So, what is the reason? All points on the circle are EQ distance from the center only. That, that means it is called a radius of the circle. So, the first statement is true only. So, we can write the reason as uh, all the points from the circle uh, uh, from the circle to the center are EQ distance from the center only. Next, a circle has only finite number of equal chords. That is another one. So, how many equal chords are circles are? That is the question. Right? So, we can take the diameter as example. Diameter is a core only, right? This is a center means through the center, this is diameter 
this is diameter this is a diameter circle diameter diameter so how much are we want we can draw right so it is, uh, the circle has only finite number of equal chords no circle has infinite number of equal chords so this statement is a false statement this one is false we can write why it is false because through the this one in the circle we are taking the, core, the diameter is a chord diameter itself we can how much or we want we can draw right so we can we will get infinite number of chords third one if a circle divided into three equal arcs each is a major arc so we are dividing circle into three equal arcs so each one is a major major arc or not no each part um, so this one circle divided into three arcs we are dividing into three parts this one we can take it as an arc from here to here we can take it in an arc and here to here also we can take it as arc so this should be in equal distance so in that case each one will say major arc no right major arc means major portion should cover more than semicircle is coming means that is called a uh, which one major arc here it is dividing into three parts means major arc won't come each one is, uh, each one should not be major arc so the answer is false only next a chord of a circle which is twice as its radius is the diameter of the circle correct only right the chord chord means what from the circle to any point one side to any anywhere we can draw this is a chord right this is also a chord so chord means which is twice as the which is twice as which one which is twice as the radius twice as the radius means what two into radius means what is that one diameter is a diameter of the circle yes chord is a diameter only so the answer is true only this is true we can write Next, a circle is a plane figure. Yes, the circle is drawn on a plane, uh, plane page. So, that is a plane figure. That is a true statement. Next, exercise 10.2. The first question is, recall that two circles are congruent if they have the same radius. Radius is same is given for two circles. And we need to prove that equal chords of congruent circle substance equal angles at their center so first we need to draw two circles with the same radius you can use the compass and draw two circles with the same radius okay two circles with the same radius for this circle i am taking the center as a and this circle center i can take it as p also then this uh, what we need to prove we need to prove that equal chords equal chords means the chords length should be same for two circles right here I am taking the first chord. As this one I can name it as BC. And here I am taking the second chord. That one I can take it as uh, PQR. Right. QR I am taking. And this, these two we can. The chords are making. We need to prove that the equal chords of the congruent circle subsent equal angles. Subsenting means extending equal angles at the center. Here one angle is forming. These two angles are. And here also one angle is forming. That means this angle A and angle P are equal. We need to prove. So to prove, prove what we need to prove? We need to prove angle BAC equal to angle QPR. This one only we need to prove. Correct. For that one we can take these two triangles. Right. So for in order to prove that one we can take in triangle ABC and triangle PQR. What are the things are equal? So what are the things are equal? See this AB is what? AB is the radius of the circle. Correct? So what is PQ? PQ is also radius. AC is also radius and PR is also radius. So what we can write from here? We can write this AC. AC equal to PR. What is that one? Radius of the circle. Radius we can write. Radius. Then next day AB equal to PQ. That is also radius of the congruent circle. We can write radius. And the next which one? This BC and QR are equal. What is that one? Chord, equal chords, right? BC equal to QR. That is given. Given it is as a equal chords, right? So all the three sides are equal means what we can say? These two triangles are congruent. We can say right. So from here what we can write? Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. What is the congruent rule? SSS congruency rule we can write. Correct. So by this uh, SSS congruency rule, this ABC and PQ are equal. So while we are writing the congruency, we need to check the order also. AC corresponding to PR, correct. AB corresponding to PQ, that is also correct. BC corresponding to QR, that is also correct. 
so if two triangles are congruent means what we can write their corresponding parts are equally right corresponding parts of the congruent triangles are equal so here what we need angle which one angle bac right b a c equal to q p r right therefore angle b a c equal to b is starting from middle so here which one is the middle q p r this is by c p c t c p c t means what the corresponding parts of the congruent triangle are equal this is the one we need to prove right so this is the answer we can write next we can go for question number 2 question number 2 is prove that if chords of a congruent circle subtend equal angles at their center then the chords are equal just a ult of this one right so here we proved which one we proved here we proved the the equal chords subtend equal angles at the center next we are going to prove equal angles have equal chords that only we are going to prove same thing we can go for two circles with the same radii circle 1 and circle 2 and center i take it as a and the chord i can take it as bc here the center i can take it as p and the chord i can take it as qr right so extend this line here it is one angle is forming here also extend and one angle is forming right so again the same thing we can go for the triangle abc and in triangle pq Are. so what are things are equal here we can say ab equal to pq what is that one radii radii of the congruent circle we can write correct radii of the congruent circle then what about this ac ac corresponding to equal to pr that is also radii of the congruent circle we can write then it is what is given here it is given um which one um, equal angles equal angles means these two are right so these two angles equal angles at their center and then the chords are equal so equal angles means what we can write angle bac equal to angle qpr that is given so from there three are there right what is that one side side this is side angle side so s a s therefore what we can write triangle abc is congruent to triangle pqr so what is the congruency rule side angle side one including angle right here also side angle side sas congruency rule we can write these two triangles are congruent so what we need to prove here equal chords so the, the which one two, two angles are equal means these two chords are equally we need to prove so but which is this one bc so here this bc is corresponding to what qr that is only we need to prove right from here we can write bc is equal to qr by corresponding parts of the congruent triangle are equal by cpct this is the answer